in Luke 81, he said, Men ought always to pray and not to faint. So if you are a man, one of the things that make you a man before God is that you are praying. God doesn't think you are a man because you have ears, because you have nose, and because you have mouth. He said, if you are a man, pray. So if God wants to check men, he checks those who are praying. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So if God wants to check who is a man, he's checking the man doing business with the world. You can be in the garbage. Maybe they don't know who you are. One of the signatures that you are a man is that you are praying. So if you are not praying, well, we thank God for your life. Men ought always to pray and not to fail. So if you are not praying, probably you have been denatured. And the move of the Spirit cannot take place in your life. So I said, the faith that enlarges our horizon prays. The reason you see a pastor in one location for three years and then he's in a tiny place and he says he's trusting God and he's not expanding is because he's not praying. He can preach about prayer but what enlarges his horizon is when he prays. We are not powerful because we preach prayer. We are powerful because we pray. The reason you see that politician and then he's there, the more he finished being a counselor and he just remained there is because he doesn't know how to fraternize with spirits. There is something you must always do with the spirit to provoke promotion. And one of it is prayer. The reason the business will not enlarge is because it's not praying. Somebody just goes, sees a native doctor comes and pours water around your shop. And then he, he creates a boundary around that shop for 20 years. And then the guy thinks that's where his, his possibilities end. No. I told us yesterday that your possibility is as vast as God himself. Because faith can do what God does. So there is no limitation on the life of any man except the limitations he put on himself. And the way to put a limitation on yourself is not to say I'm limited, is to stop praying. The day you stop praying, you have already created a limitation around yourself. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. The day you stop praying, you have put a limitation around your ministry. You have put a limitation around your family. You have put a limitation around your business. You'll find three, four sisters in one house. Nobody's getting married. Why is it so? There is an embargo. And there is no man of prayer that will rise and say, no, I break this embargo. All of you get married. And then you see that limitation stopping the potentials of that family because nobody wants to pray. The greatest limitation that a man will give to himself is the one he creates by his prayerlessness. Because the moment you begin to pray, the Holy Ghost begins to move. And if the Holy Ghost begins to move, anything is possible. You were blessed by the message you just listened to and wish to make Jesus your Lord and personal Savior. Kindly repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, and that He died for my sins and was raised from the dead for my justification. I therefore confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. If you just said this prayer, please send us an email on amodiscipleship at gmail.com or reach us on our website, orocomichael.com to enable us to reach you and afford us the privilege to disciple you. God bless you.